Hey Scott. Are you Good, are you hey you guys as in hey you guys? Exactly that. Exactly that. <laughs> One of the greatest oh. roles on film ever. Uh, guys, congratulations it. on the show. Really, really Thank enjoyed you. it. I blitzed it in a day. A day. A and day? Uh, uh, but yeah, it's easy yeah. to do, isn't it? It's easy to do, and I have really nothing else to do. So, you know, it's, it's all, it's all That's what we, I love your honesty. That's what we want everyone yeah. to do. <laughs> yeah. And did it lift your spirits? It did. And as a football fan, it's it's perfect for me. So, uh, yeah. Oh, cool. good. That's amazing to hear. On, yeah. uh, on that. Yeah, I mean, it's it's that's one question I was going to ask you, actually. And you're not, you two aren't involved in the football side of things, but it's very hard to replicate football on the screen the tried it and make it believable and, it and tv film and he really kind of bend it like beckham maybe got it right it must be <laughs> great to see that the guys when they were doing that stuff that it gave such a great authenticity to to, to everything that you guys are trying to do absolutely, absolutely. yeah and I, thank god I they cast you... people that could do it <laughs> yeah yeah because uh, you've got these seeming archetypes with the with the uh you you know that with with uh, the, the the footballers and you know and they're, they're the heroic uh, striker and uh, and you get to see what's behind it, you know. I mean, I know, I know a lot of football fans uh, will know their, you know, the, the personal life of their favourite players, but uh, the, the fact that they've written all that in and made it a little bit complex and funny at the same time is uh, really, really zings out, I think. I think it works really well. I think it's brilliant that even towards the end of it, um, you see Phil Dunster's character. I just yeah. think he's brilliant as Jamie Tart. Yeah. You know, you see him being berated by his father and Ted sees him through the window. That absolutely killed me, that scene, because I just yeah. thought, I wonder if any any of us, any football fans, ever think about that side of what what one of these boys has had growing up. They could be one of the most, you might imagine if Ole Gunnar Solskjaer had had that growing up and, and we would never know that. You know? Yeah. So it, yeah, the it kind psychology of takes you down the route. Yeah, the psychology of, of how a footballer becomes great, how a footballer becomes arrogant or a bully. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Very cleverly done. Yeah, very cleverly done. I just wanted to ask you both about uh, your characters separately and together because they're they're kind of a, a very cool little and large double act throughout the show. <laughs> and they, uh, <laughs> they, uh, Hold they on get a on minute, each other. Scott. Who's, I, who's, I guess who's, I'm who's Eddie Large. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but they have a great rapport, and even though they they kind of you know banter at each other, and and one's the boss, one's not the boss. There's a there's a there, there feels like a real great affection for each other, even if they maybe don't say it out loud at times. I just wondered for you guys how easy that was to to play because it, it comes across the screen fantastically well. Good. Oh, great. Well, I think it it, it develops. You, I think uh, initially you just think um, boss employee you may think that for a first couple of episodes but it, then they, they creep in the kind of history uh behind them and uh and that, and that you know it just it just pads it out makes it more complex and, and uh, they had a they very much had a had a history in terms of a, a real what rebecca thought was a real genuine friendship well until that's she right, realizes yeah. that 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 he's been facilitating rupert's you know scoundrel ways and that's, yeah. if you think about it, she's not only dealing with the heartbreak of her husband playing her, but also what she thought was her friend helping yeah. him along the way. Yeah, I mean, who found it very painful. Uh, uh, speaking as the actor who plays that's, <laughs> that's what I was going for. But it's such a, I mean, it's such a gift for them to have given us that, that, you know, we have the the office of it to play, the football of it to play, and then yeah. there's that which is the friendship, that which is the working relationship. Higgins having to think about who he has been to her, who Rupert was to him. If just straight away you get that sense of, oh, do I side with that person? Do I? I can see the the the, the yin and yang of each of the characters, like before yeah. the end of Ep One. I'm I'm writing all that, that down, by the way, because I hadn't thought oh, yeah. of that before. Yin You're and welcome. Yang. Can you go back to Yin and Yang? <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, guys, my time is up. But thank you oh, so, so no. much for your time. Pleasure to speak to you both. And good luck with the show. I really enjoyed it. Thank you thank for you enjoying much. it. Have a good day. Bye, Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys.